Hey everybody, it's Under My Cap, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to use the play sound command in Bedrock Edition. So, you've probably seen my other play sound video, which was for Java, but if you are new and you want to actually learn the play sound command for Java, I will leave a link in the description below or a icon card will pop up right now which you can click on and it'll take you straight there. I recommend you watching both of them just so you can learn them and be able to do them. But uh, I'm just going to show you the simple commands for today. If you do want me to do a whole bunch of more advanced ones, please leave a comment in the description below and I will try and make another one. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's get straight into this. Well, the first thing you want to know is that the command can be used in the slash command line or in a command block. Now, for this video, I'm just going to be doing it in a command block just because it makes the video a whole bunch more easier. Command blocks are much easier to show and edit and those things, where command line is, as soon as you press enter, it kind of disappears, it's really messy and all those things. So how to get a command block, what you want to do is you want to type in slash and then do give, and then you want to get, say at s, whoops, uh, you can type in the player name or any other player name and it will give it to them, but for, for now, because we want to give it to ourself, uh, we just do at s and then command block. Now please note that spaces do not count in the command, so you have to do underlines just to kind of link it together. And as you can see when you're typing it in, it does show how to spell it. So um, if you're halfway through typing the command, you can still see what you have to write. So what you want to do is you want to press enter. And then once you got that, you uh, you get your command block. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to place the command block on the ground. So uh, what you want to do is click on it, and you'll see a whole interface. Now let's not worry about this stuff on the side here. Uh, let's just worry about the command input. So what you want to do is you want to type in slash play sound, and then you want to type in the name of the sound. Now for this video, I um, I'll leave a list of all the sounds in the game, or just a link to the source I used for the sounds. Um, but I'm just going to do one of them just to explain everything to you. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do random level up, and it's one of the most used or one of the common sounds you probably hear when you're playing multiplayer servers, or if you're trying to create a sound just because it's so easy to remember. So what I do is I go random dot level up. And this is the sound that plays once you level up when you get your XP orbs, or enough of them. So as you'll notice, when we get out, and we get a button, like this, it won't do anything. And that's because we actually haven't input the target which we want to execute it to. So what you want to do is you want to type in uh, the player name, or um, as you can see, the little at symbols down there at s, at p, at r, at a, at e. Um, I'm just going to do at a and then press enter. Whoops. Escape. Now if we click on it, you'll notice the sound plays, which is really cool. Now before we get onto the pitch section, we actually have to outline where the sound is and how loud the sound is going to be. So for now, I'm just going to do three squiggly lines and each one of those represents x, y, and z. Um, so by doing this, it means that the sound will play at the command block because that's the center of where the coordinates are. And then what you want to do is you want to type in the max or the volume of it, 100. And now this is where you do the pitch. So the pitch is done in a decimal kind of form. So 1 is the normal sound, as you can hear here. 1.5 speeds it up by 0.5, so you'll hear it as a much faster high pitch noise and 0 0.5 will change it so that it's a lower pitch and it's a little bit slower. So this noise is pretty common, used across a whole bunch of servers. You probably hear it when you play on it. Um, but yeah, so it's one of my favorite noises which you can do, and yeah, it's really cool. The next bit of this is the max volume. So we want to set it to 100 so that we can hear it. And if we press Enter, still sound the same. The further away I get from it though, you'll hear that it fades away and you can simply change the volume of the block. Um, so if we set this to that and that, the noise still follows you quite far away. So that's really cool. That's basically the 
Yeah, so that's basically the simple play sound command. If you do want to know more about this command, um, how to make it follow entities, all those things, please make sure to leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, so leave a comment, leave a like. Also, don't forget to check out the socials in the description below. And if, and also the source I got for all the play sound sounds. So um, you can make a whole bunch of sounds. Basically, every sound in the game is in that list. Uh, I don't know if it's updated, but yeah, it should probably be regularly updated. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya!